So today's interview, I am here, it's a very authentic setting because I'm actually here on stage at the Gilga Theatre with the star of Curious Instant of the Dog in the Nighttime. I always have to think about that because it's such a long time. <laughs> it is. It's Joseph how are you? I'm very good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Good, I'm good. very excited about tonight because it's the first time that I've seen this show uh, and I know a lot of people that still haven't seen the show despite it being a show mm. that's been there for a good few years now. Mm. And you're relatively new to the cast as well because you've just joined here just a few weeks ago. Yeah, but uh, this is my fourth week just the end, coming to the end of my first month in the show. Is it quite a difficult show to describe without plot spoiling? Because it's quite a sensitive subject. The character you play is, is Christopher, Christopher Boone? Christopher Boone, yeah. It's never actually uh, distinctly referenced or, or kind of, you know, put in stern during the play, which I think is, is a good, I think that's obviously intentional because the book that, that the uh, play is based on, it, no, it never mentions it in that either. So it's kind of up to the audience to decide what Christopher, you know, has. Now you play uh, an amateur detective yes. turned mathematician. Yeah. Are those traits like you? I've always been a kind of curious kind of guy. I, lo I love, uh, like, detective, um, shows like True Detective, like I love anything like murder mystery or anything like that. But yeah, he, and the autism side of it was something that I had to research quite a lot, watch a lot of clips and read books and listen to interviews and stuff. So it, that, it was quite a challenge, but it, it's it's just so lovely to get given a role that's so sort of deep and rich and there is those things that you can go off and read about. It's not just, you know, a one dimensional character. I mentioned at the beginning of the interview that I've not seen the show and I kind of feel quite yeah. embarrassed about that because it's such a popular <laughs> show. I'm quite late to the party, but I, I found out that you hadn't read the book. No, I hadn't. Because I've not I read the book either. I was very lucky that I hadn't seen the show either before I auditioned for it or read the book. I knew of it. I knew, you know, I think everyone sort of heard of The Curious Incident in the very night time, but I, I didn't have any detailed knowledge about it, which really helped because then everything that was given to me was fresh and I discovered everything on the day as we did it, as opposed to Oh, I've seen this, but I know yeah. what's going to happen here. Yeah, and especially well, I don't want to spoil it for you, but there's there's moments in the show that are like, what? And then when they told me about it, I was like, really? We're we going to do that? And then when we did it, it was a really new, fresh experience. It, in what way? That the, it's very kind of physical. It's a physical physically role. and the technical side of the show, the lights. So you can see this. Behind it's it just amazing. beautiful. Yeah, but and, that, and obviously that's that's just the part. That's the tip of, it. of the iceberg. Yeah, yeah. 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 And it's just incredible. And when we did Tech Week in the theatre, it was just moment to moment. My mouth was just. Open that must have been really exciting to start really with, exciting. but is it is it quite a daunting thing with technology? Because technology, oh, yeah. obviously you're relying on some of the technology yeah. to make things work, as well as your performance. Yeah. And a lot of the, because uh, the, the technician, the, the stage manager sits up there and yeah. does the cues. So a lot of the technical elements come off me, or off my movement, or off a certain word that I have to say for the cues to make sense. So there's a lot of pressure on me of driving the story forward and driving the player forward. But for the most part, it was just like childlike <laughs> yeah. excitement of just, yeah. this is the coolest thing I've ever done. It's a train set or train track that yes. you're building yes. as part of the story. The bane of my life in Can some you ways. say yeah. anything about that without spoiling anything? Christopher loves order and time and he loves things that are regimented and on time. So when his mother, when he was younger, give, gives him a train set to play with and he obviously just goes, Gaga for it. he loves it. He loves the train timetable and setting it up and knowing that this time that this train is going to be there at this time and all this kind of thing. And that is, I'm quite surprised that you mentioned that bit because there's stuff that's more, there's other <laughs> there's things, stuff, there's bigger stuff in it. Yeah, <laughs> like but I don't want to the iceberg. It. But yeah, but that is that's amazing. And yeah. I, I do that every night, genuinely for real, put that train set together. And some nights, some nights it goes better than other nights, should we say? But yeah. I, it's really good fun. It's really, it's a really really ingenious way of telling the story, as you'll see. Yeah. yeah, and I mentioned the physicality of the show, because yeah. obviously it's a physical performance for yeah. you, and, and some of the other cast members, I'm not exactly oh, sure if the other yeah, cast when, members yeah. are physical <laughs> too, but I've gone from zero hours working out a, a week to kind of two, two hours a night of cardio, <laughs> which is, is quite a, a <laughs> steep hill to climb, yeah. but I just have to be very careful and very sort of sensible and, and Eat a lot of fruit, eat a lot of fibre, have, have a lot Something of energy. a lot of sugar in it. It's just a lot of sugar, a lot energy. of lucas in my fridge yeah. upstairs. Every time I go off at the interval, it's just 
<laughs> like charge up. And Not gin like there. <laughs> yeah, no, no alcohol. <laughs> no gin. There. No, Maybe really. afterwards. But yeah. 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 Well, good luck with it, Joseph. It's great to see you oh, today. Thank you very and much. Thanks for talking. Good luck with the rest of your run okay. here. Very funny. It was very funny, and I'd say quickly. You know, when you go to see a movie, there's what I call there's a six laugh test, mm. where if it goes past that six laughs, I think it's passed. And that that play was just a laugh a minute, a laugh a second for me. Yes. I just laughed all the way through it.